So I had this new idea that after every new Star Wars movie comes out, I do a ranking. So here's my ranking of my favorite from my least favorite to my favorite Star Wars episodes in order. So there's nine in total so far. Number one, I mean number nine. So nine is worst, one is best. Number nine, episode two. Episode two seemed like it had too much green screen, and there was too much romance between Anakin and Padme. It was just too much. In episode two, it's just just not that great in general. It should have shown more of Anakin's training, in my opinion. Number two, episode one. Terrible, but better. The only reason it's better is because of Qui-Gon and because of the battle at the end. Between Obi Wan and Darth Maul, Obi Wan and Darth Maul, best. I just felt it 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 shouldn't have even even been a Star Wars movie. It should have been in a thought an anthology film. It just wasn't really important to make, honestly. Um, yeah. What? Why are you talking to yourself? I'm ranking the order of Star Wars movies in my head, but I'm saying it out loud because... You're saying it in your head, but you're saying it out loud? Yes, I'm saying it out loud so I can better understand myself. Okay, bye. Number three, I would say probably um, uh, A New Hope because A New Hope was really good. It was just really slow, and there was, like, you know, it, let me, it was good, but it wasn't good. No. It was good, but it wasn't good, because, I don't know, it was slow, and Luke Skywalker was kind of like a whiny baby. Number four, Return of the Jedi, just because... Like, it, it was a really good film. Tell, let me tell you, it was a really good film. It's just... The the Endor scenes were just unnecessary. Except for, like, when they were battling. But the all the other ones were just unnecessary. The only... My favorite part of that movie is the Slave Leia scenes. Oh, yeah. But, um, yeah. Number five, Rogue One. Rogue One was, like, a home run in a Cubs baseball game. It was... Really good for the first anthology film. I loved it. It's just there were some parts that I found not right up to the storyline. And some parts that were just unneeded. Um, like killing that one K2SO uh, droid. And K2SO was right behind him. That's That slap uh, where uh, K2SO ca- slapped casting was pretty funny. Um, I like... I, I, at first, I didn't like the fact that everyone died, but then I realized it made sense to the story. And I like how every character died. It was like a sacrifice. Number, th- wait, was that number four? Number three. Number five would be, in my opinion, episode three. Episode 3 was my favorite as a kid. And the prequels in general were my favorite as a kid. But when I matured and came to my senses, I found that the original trilogy was better. But episode 3, I really liked until The Force Awakens came out. Get out of here, you freak. Get out of here. Um, episode 3 was my favorite as a kid. Until episode 7 came out, then that was my favorite, but don't worry, I'm not spoiling anything um, for this video. Um, it, yeah, it was really good. I, my favorite thing, though, of that movie was Anakin vs. Obi-Wan. I'm talking to myself! No, I'm talking to myself. But yeah, that one was my favorite. Anakin vs. Obi-Wan, best. That was what, number five? Number six, Empire Strikes Back. Wait, hold on. No, that was number six. Number seven, Empire Strikes Back. That was one of the best original trilogy movies ever. It was just great. 
the reveal of Darth Vader being Luke's father, the just the storyline in general was great. Number seven, heh, coincidence, The Force Awakens. <laughs> number seven is episode seven. I mean, number eight is <sighs> number eight is episode seven. Never mind, I can't remember now. Number eight is The Force Awakens. Force Awakens was like the very first one I saw in theaters. And it was my it was my favorite at the time. That one was awesome. The storyline, the way J.J. Abrams made the characters' developments, the way J.J. Abrams just wrote the storyline in general was amazing. The reveal that Rey was the actual Jedi was just mind-blowing in my opinion. And I really like Rey. Rey is my new favorite character. And obviously, number nine, The Last Jedi. The Last Jedi. I don't understand why so many people hated it. It was perfect. Like, if you think about it, it was perfect. The, the storyline of Kylo turning against Snoke, like, about to attack him in the beginning, and then going on to about to kill his mom, but didn't, and then killing Snoke. That, I thought that was amazing. And then Ray's character development, that was good, too. Uh, the only thing I really didn't like about it was that Leia scene where she made herself float to the ship. I did not like that part. But, yeah, I don't understand how so many people could hate it. It was... It's my favorite. But, yeah, things could change when Solo come out and within episode 9 and so. But, yeah, so that's my Star Wars movies ranked from worst to best. I hope you enjoyed and leave a like if you agree and put in the put in the comments which ones, your, which ones are your least to greatest. I'll see you later.